Bimbo's heads. Hey, I just said that. <laughs> hey, I just said that. And Facebookers are like, you just said what? Oh. Got to figure this out. I got to figure out how to read comments, too, because there was a lot of people that commented that we didn't answer yesterday. No. Commented on what? Just live. Oh, really? Say, saying stuff. and. Oh. Well, it should be on Facebook, right? Well, I know, but answering them now, they were like asking questions that probably needed to be answered. Oh. They were timely questions? They were flying, look like. Hi, Tana. Is she back on? Yeah. She must have her notifications on or something. Um... Good morning, Buzzheads. Did you find them? Did you get them? Uh, no, on the comment. No, I got my notes. Oh. Uh, I can't get my app, my apps keep crashing on here, so I, this is useless oh. as far as Facebook. But uh, hey, welcome to those Buzz guys. We're here on Buzzhead Radio, uh, still working things out. Do we ever not work things out? Well, We're, well, about the time we get everything working just right, we change something. Yes, we do. Let's, hey. Now that it's working, let's do this and screw everything up. Let's add something really hard that takes a lot more stuff. Anyway, we uh, you are listening to Buzzhead Radio here at the Buzzhead Media Studios in downtown Enid, Oklahoma, in the middle of Merco in the Triangle Business Center building. We are. Uh, hey. I changed my shirt today. Oh, you did. The green one's gone. Wow, look at that. Wow. Yeah. Don't forget, you can buy those. Yeah. Oh, we got news coming up. We're not gonna. Oh. We won't break the whole thing, but well, people will actually be able to buy our T-shirts over the holidays. And why? And why? Because there'll be a store open <gasps> somewhere, a holiday store. So uh, we'll give you details when we solidify. Yeah, it's not dates, 100%. dates, and all that stuff. So um, it's gonna happen. We just don't know exactly when. Yeah, and we know exactly where. Just don't know exactly when. Yeah, so soon. So anyway, be aware of that. Don't forget, if you guys uh, miss one of our episodes, we are uh, on weekdays, 8 a.m. here on the radio. If you miss an episode, you can catch us as Those Buzz Guys podcast on iTunes. Tune in, Spreaker, Stitcher, blah de blah 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 all the other places. Paul Chisholm says, good morning. Hey, morning, Paul. Morning, everybody. Uh, I'm going to give the, it was a little foggy this morning. Uh, kind of a little uh, London-y feeling this morning. 58 degree. Well, haven't you seen uh, what's that uh, Jack the Ripper movie? You know? oh, yeah. uh, every time Jack the Ripper movie comes on, or uh, even Sherlock Holmes, it's like it's always foggy. Yeah. Uh, 58 degrees this morning. It felt really good, uh, actually. And I think it was actually when I went out, my app said 64 degrees. Weatherbug said 64 when I went out. So I, it was actually warmer than I think they predicted. Um, Tuesday, October fifteenth. It's the middle of the. It's the middle of the month. Already. I mean, already the, this month's half over, and we are exactly a week away from the first showing of "It's a Great Pumpkin," Charlie Brown. When that, oh, so a week from day, the official holiday TV season begins. So you guys get ready. Unless you're a Hallmark watcher. Oh God, yeah, those. They started. Uh, they've been going for since like June, maybe June or July. Chip calls it Christmas porn. That's what it is. It is Christmas <laughs> porn. I was in my the one I was in wasn't Hallmark, but I was in a Christmas porn movie oh, with, yeah? with Bo Derek, the one they oh. filmed down in Guthrie. It came out last year. I didn't realize it was a Christmas movie. Oh yeah, it was a it was a uh, it was a yeah yeah kind of a. So they're gonna do another movie here locally somewhere. I guess so. We'll f yeah, we'll find out. I don't. Yeah. They might rent my sink. Believe it or not. That'll be that'll be exciting. We'll let you guys know. We'll try to get uh, on set and give you guys all the stuff. Uh, mostly sunny day. Once all these clouds clear out, all this little uh, fog stuff. High of 71 today. South winds becoming north at 17 miles an hour this morning, and then they they could gust to 28 this afternoon. So it is going to be a little gusty. Clear tonight with a low of 41. North winds at eight miles an hour. When you say the word north in the fall, that means it's probably going to cool off mm -hmm. when the winds start coming from the north. So I'm guessing it's going to cool off a little bit. Hi, Tammy. Hi, Bert. I don't know why the 15th, but uh, man, we've got a ton of uh, holidays today. I'm going to go film quick because there's a million. It is Face Your Fears Day. It's also I Love Lucy Day. Oh. Breast Health Day. Global wow. Hand Washing Day. My breasts are fine. 
Okay, information overload. See, a little information overload. I didn't need to know that. Day of Rural Women. My mom is a student day. Aesthetician Day. Grouch Day. Latino AIDS Awareness Day. Pharmacy Technician Day. Pregnancy and Infant Loss Awareness Day. Pug Day. I grew up with a pug. Pugs are cool. White Cane Safety Day. Pro-Life Day of Silence, Solidarity, and Sewing Lovers Day. For you foodies out there, you get to enjoy Cheese Curd Day. Have you ever had a cheese curd? Yeah, you get them at Freddy's. What fried, is it? Fried what? cheese curd. You can get fried cheese curd. Ah, so what, what is a cheese curd? It's just like, uh, it's just cheese. Is it? It's like a little ball of cheese. Okay, so it's just cheese. Yeah. What makes, and... Uh, what makes it curdy? It being round makes it a curd? I don't know. I don't know either. Anyway, cheese curd day. Go to go to Freddy's. Uh, chicken uh, cacciatore day. You can get that over at probably Napoli's. Mushroom day. You can get that out over at Napoli's. And roast pheasant day. Roast pheasant. I wonder if you can get those out at Pheasant Run. No. No. No pheasant at Pheasant Run. I don't think so. Uh, I don't think so. Uh, Rodney Bowden says, Hot Heated Buzz. And Paul has a question. He says, What's with the old Kmart building? I know United will be closing in December. Is okay, it's all it's all rumors because supposedly so so the city came out with a post that said it was gonna be half uh, harbor freight and half tractor supply. Tractor supply. And then when I posted that it was kind of like the city came out with another uh, um, a uh, quote that said, "Oh well, no, it's nothing signed, so nothing's for sure." So, um, so anyway, uh, yeah, we don't know yet. We don't uh, know 100. But it sounds like Kmart will be split into at least two, if not three, different businesses. I'm not sure what's uh, if anything's uh, going into United yet. So I don't know. That's a Everything's up in the air, but Harbor, I am almost 1,000% sure one of those two will have Harbor Freight in it, and then I think uh, Tractor Supply will be over there somewhere as well. I can't well. imagine they'd split it for, for Harbor Freight, because Harbor Freight doesn't need that much room. Yeah, I mean, Harbor Freight was try, has been trying to get into the Hastings building for, I think, years, and yeah. they just that's not what they want in that. that they want T-shirts or something gifty, something cool, like Hallmark over in Sunset really? Plaza. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. 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 Clue, yeah, clue, clue, hit, clue, clue. 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 Okay, so uh, anyway, uh, to Paul, we don't know yet. Uh, just rumors and uh, nothing that we know has been signed. Um, Hi, Kenny. Let's go ahead and, and stick with the rumors. And this isn't even a rumor. Uh, Nicholas Real Estate posted yesterday that the Flamingo Building or Buildings, if you didn't know, Flamingo is actually two buildings connected, and uh, the Flamingo Buildings are for sale. Now, that's all we know. They posted it. I shared it. I haven't talked to anybody, so I don't know what's going on with the restaurant. It said buildings only, meaning the restaurant is not for sale. It didn't say whether they were moving, closing, expanding, uh, franchising. It didn't say anything. So we don't know. They're probably not moving. We don't. We don't know. So anyway, uh, one hundred seventy-five thousand. Pe pe a checkbook. People were like, um, that's way too much for those little buildings. And no. then, then somebody else pointed out, no. it's not exactly the buildings, folks. It's the location. location. So, if, so if you were to guess, and I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure. What, what do you think would be the busiest intersection in Enid, Oklahoma? Well, that would have to be it. Yeah, so you're not paying for the... I mean, you're paying for the building, but you're paying for the busiest intersection in Enid, Oklahoma. Well, considering uh, Walgreens paid... Manual four million dollars for that corner, <clears throat> which is just a block away, not yeah. even a block away. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, so actually one hundred seventy-five thousand when sounds cheap to me. Yeah, but what somebody's got to do is, I think the Chinese place is still for, for sale. sale. And somebody so is the building across the parking lot from. The yeah, so somebody needs to buy all three, and that gives you an area for a nice building and parking because yeah. there, there's yeah, there's. Anyway, that's all we know. We're just spreading rumors and that aren't even rumors. It was on the Nicholas yeah. Real Estate. You can go to their their Facebook page and learn more. Uh, talk to Jimmy Nicholas. He's got all the info on if you want to buy the building. Talk to Jimmy. So it said Jimmy. I thought Jimmy was at the other place. Unless there's another Jimmy at Nicholas. Yeah, I don't know. I did too. I thought he was. I don't. But it said Jimmy. So, yeah. but uh, maybe. They he it may be Jimmy may still be on the real estate side at Nicholas. Oh. I think they got they got rid of their residential side at Nicholas. Oh, and now they're just commercial. So maybe he's still part 
Coldwell part? I, I don't know. It just said Jimmy. I assumed it was Jimmy Nicholas. It could maybe it's not. Um, anyway, Kathy Jackson. Hi, Kathy. Hey, she says good morning. We're glad y'all on every every day. It's a great way to start your day. Well, thanks. Thanks for checking in. We'll uh, we're going to try to get more fun stuff and and all that. Uh, we got a poll. I did a poll because uh, yesterday was National Dessert Day. I asked, do you eat dessert on a regular basis or rarely ever? What do you think? What do you do? Uh, dessert rarely ever. Okay, here's... here's he eats dessert every day. I was going to say, here's, here's how I stay slim. Dessert is my dinner. So, like last night, what I, so last night I had a package of those eight mini chocolate donuts and a triple dip frozen yogurt twist in a cup from Brahms. So that, and I probably do that three times a week. That's my dinner. So my dessert is my dinner. So I don't I know. Bag, I, had, I, don't, I had a bag of popcorn for to dinner last night. Yeah, see, popcorn's not dessert, so. No, I know, but yeah. I'm saying. Well, um, most people don't have dessert. 462 people said rarely do we eat dessert, and I don't. If, if dessert isn't my dinner, oh. I don't eat dessert. Like, like when we eat at Callahan's, Either I eat the cake as my dinner. They got a good, what's that lemon berry cake? Yeah. Sometimes I'll have lemon berry cake as my dinner at Callahan's, but if I eat a burger, I don't get dessert and the burger. So and then 389 said often. So uh, the rarely uh, was higher than the. Okay, so I ate boomerang this morning. You ate a boomerang this morning? Yeah, and they brought out go like this, big old fat, fresh, hot, fresh. Caramel apple pies. That's like an ad. You're like doing an ad. Hold that up again. Did you guys know if you go to Boomerang, number one, they have the good ice. Good ice. Good if you teeth, good teeth. If if you get a drink, take your cup home with you because when you go back to Boomerang, for a dollar eight, they'll refill it. So whatever you get, tea or coke, um, yeah. just ask for it when you order your drink. Just say in a to go cup. That way you. Yeah, so always take your boomerang cup home, and then when you go back, take it with you. It refills a buck eight. That's with tax, a buck eight with tax. Yeah. Yeah, so a little tidbit for you guys out there in the Enid area. If you don't live in Enid, uh, you're missing out. Boomerang's kind of our diner, our 50s diner. Yeah. I mean, other places have boomerangs. Yeah. They're, they're all over. Um, Good stuff. Yeah, kind of a, uh, a quandary popped up yesterday. So did you get your phone book? Did you get it's your still, new, it's get still laying in the driveway. Everybody's is. On my walks in the morning, my seven miles, I see seven miles worth of phone books, and I will see that seven miles worth of phone books for months because people don't pick them up. They, they usually let their lawn guys pick them up or, or, or the, up in the, or the or trash guys or, or whatever. Yeah. yeah. So, so, so the phone book came out, and I grabbed one. I saved mine because I had found one the other day in a box from 2015, and I thought, well, and I thought, well, I'm going to throw this away. And then I thought, well, no, don't throw it away because in 2035, somebody's going to ask me where this, this business was. Well, if I have a phone book, I can go to the phone book and find out where the business was. So I thought, well, I'm going to keep it because it's an artifact. It's, these are artifacts now. They're not. <laughs> they went out for like two weeks and they're already an artifact. Yeah. So, 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 so it was kind of, I mean, it was kind of thick. You know, it's smaller. Yeah. They've, they're, they've gone smaller. Yeah. And it had white pages in it. And I looked in it, and my name was in it. Oh, I thought it didn't have white pages. This, this, this is the 2015 one. Oh, the 2015. And the 2015 one on the front is yellow, and it says Yellow Book. Yellow Book. And it has white pages in it in 2015. And it had my name in it in 2015 on Indian Drive. I'm trying to think, did I live on Indian Drive? In 2015, no. I think it might have had the wrong address. Anyway, so then we get the new ones this year, and I pick it up. And I think, okay, I'm going to keep it so I can go back and look at where businesses were again. So last night, just for grins, I took a picture of the phone book because I've got this old rotary phone that's really a push button. It, I don't use it. It's just It looks like a bat phone. It looks like a red bat phone. <laughs> so I keep it in my office just for decoration. So I took a picture with the phone book by the phone, and I was going to do a post about how you know antiquated all of this was. But then I got to looking through the, the new phone books that came out, and I looked in the white pages and my name wasn't in there. And nobody's name was in there. And then I got to look in and it seemed like Denise's name was in there though. It said Denise Tucker, but it had her phone, her work phone number. 
So somehow now the white pages in the yellow book are just people's work numbers. There's no res there's no residence anymore. So anyway, so uh, and then so that started up a big conversation on uh, Facebook, and I guess somebody posted that uh, they're supposed to be getting rid of those actual phone books by 2020. So I guess they've so so anyway, uh, don't even pick up your phone. So some of you I think mentioned the other day that. They're kind of cool to have around because you can find people's address. Yes. No, you can't. There's no more addresses oh. in them. There's no more white pages in them. Oh. The white pages are business listings, which I don't quite understand since it's got the yellow page. So anyway, so there's no more residents in the yellow book. Is well, what's my, in the yellow pages? I, I, very few businesses. Wow. I mean, it's gotten really thin. I mean, like really thin. Wow. Yeah. So anyway, so yeah, so the yellow pages are... Uh, that wasn't that long ago. We got two different phone books. Yeah, the uh, the great great greater greater something. In, uh, something. Yeah, yeah. We used to get two phone books. Yeah, back in the day. Wow. So anyway, there's you. Hey, are you? You don't watch The Voice, do you? No. Uh, last I don't night. Watch anything really hardly. Yeah. Well, last night, you know me. I while I'm working, I listen to reality shows because they're they're the easiest thing to keep up with, and I don't have to like really concentrate. Right. So last night, The Voice was on. They ended The Voice. Uh, two of the uh, judges on The Voice live in Oklahoma. Uh, Blake Shelton and his girlfriend, Gwen Stefani. Oh, Gwen Stefani. They both live over, what, is it Tishomingo? Somewhere around there. Somewhere, somewhere over they, so they, so they live in Oklahoma. And um, last night, one of the very last girls, so all the teams were, I think John Legend's team was four. So anyway, they all had one, like most of them just had one person left. So they were being really picky. And this girl comes on, a country singer, and the three that still had spots left turned around. And the girl turned out to be a 16-year-old from Owasso. Oh, wow. Oklahoma. Then come to find out, not only is she from Oklahoma, she's the daughter of a dental hygienist that Denise went to dental hygiene school with. Oh, yeah. So anyway, we'll keep. We're going to keep an eye. I, I didn't. I all this came about really quick, so I didn't get her name. I don't remember her name. But we will be following the gal on the Voice from Oklahoma, and uh, we'll see how she does. She uh, she had a really good voice, but cool. sixteen years old. So we'll see how. Country singers tend to do well on the Voice. They mo they if they're very good, they usually tend to make it to at least the final, if not win it. Hmm. So. What you got over there? Uh, Larry from Duncan says good morning. Oh, hey, Larry. Larry Choate. Larry yep. Larry back in, in Duncan. And Tim Wilson says you can find all that stuff in, at a, in the city directory at the library. What's the library? <laughs> <laughs> I was just asking the other day if they still make city directories. So I guess they still make city directories and you can go look it up at the library. I guess. So if you guys need an address, yeah, don't... <laughs> Try not to get in that loop online where it'll say they're going to give you the address and then it starts spinning don't, like don't, it's scanning. Don't hit that big green button. Yeah, because then you're going to get you're going to wait 30 minutes and it's going to tell you it knows the person's address, their phone number, their criminal record, and then it's going to pop up a price and say, and we'll tell you for this amount of money. And by then they've already installed 18 different spamwares on your computer. Yeah. So anyway, so be aware of looking up addresses on the on the internet. It's, you would think it would be simple. Yeah, it's not as simple as you would believe. So, uh, I, guess, I, I guess because there's no money in it, that's why it hasn't been done. Well, there's money. Yeah, there's only yeah there's only money in it when they spin you yeah. through that whole thing and then make you pay to get the address. Yeah, I would think that the city directory, I guess the city directory wouldn't want to post everybody's address online, or you wouldn't buy the city directory. But I don't think people are buying the city directory that often because I don't see them anywhere anymore. Yeah. So anyway. Uh, well, anyway, go to the library, wherever that is. <laughs> I'm glad we still have libraries. Yes. People people need to read books, folks. Put them in your hand. I've been reading a book. It's been taking me forever. What are you reading? That Killing Lincoln. Oh, by, uh, uh, Bill O'Reilly. Bill O'Reilly, yeah. And about a third of the way through it. I think he's written even another one since then. Oh, he, uh, Killing Jesus? Yeah. Uh, yeah. And something else. Yeah. I, gotta get, I don't know if I can do the Jesus one, though. Well, that'd be interesting. Yeah. So how's the Lincoln one? Uh, pretty good, although uh, I'm not sure if it's partly fiction or not because some of the stuff he talks about is, is really detailed. Like, how would he know what Booth was doing the night before that night? I talked to. I mean, it's. I think. I think it's partly fiction. I thought it was supposed to be like history. I, Did, have they gotten to uh, John Wilkes Booth moving to Enid yet? No. 
I wonder if he even mentions that. I bet he does. Not. I don't know. So hey, uh, let us know real quick. Are you being? Can you tell if it's blurry or not? It's not blurry right now. Oh, it's not. Okay, we're still. We 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 think we've improved the connection, and the Facebook shouldn't be blurry. If uh, see, it looks pretty good. Dang, we're good. We are good looking. Look, we got hats on. Oh, I got a hat on. You got a hat on. We're all American red, white, and blue here at uh, Buzzhead Radio. Um, I've got a list of things you're supposed to do in the fall, but we're at 820. I think I'm going to We skipped. There was some pretty good birthdays yesterday. Ralph Lauren's birthday was yeah. yesterday. We Ralph Lauren. Uh, skipped right over there. Let's go, let's go ahead and get birthdays in. If you, guys, birthday. if you guys have a birthday, 580-541-3805 is our hotline. Happy birthday. I'm not going to hold this for 30 seconds. <laughs> That gives them an idea that the happy birthday music is on. Maybe I'll make that my job this morning. I figure out how to hook that up to that. I don't know why. Yeah, it's, not, it's not that big a deal. Why can't we? Oh, it's great. October 15th. October 15th, middle of the month. Tito Jackson. Tito Jackson. I don't know which one he is. I wonder. Jackson brother. I wonder, uh, Tito. He sounds like an older one. Oh. And uh, oh, so Michael should have been about our age, yeah. which means Tito would be, he, they couldn't have had him that far apart. So 66. Ding, 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 ding. Oh. Oh, baby, I'm oh. on a streak. Amarillo Gossi. Amarillo Gossi. Amarillo Gossi. <laughs> um, he seems a little older. I don't want him. 71. 60. Ah, poop. Wah, wah, wah. Richard Carpenter. Richard Carpenter, like Karen's brother? Karen's brother. It, are, he's still alive? Oh, yeah. Wow. He's, he's, he's Does alive he still alive. sing? Uh, a little bit. Yeah, he does, actually. I saw him on, uh, was it Jay Leno's Garage or something the other day? 72. Close, 73. Ah. Larry Miller. Larry, he's that actor comedian that you hardly ever see, but he's been in a ton, ton, yeah, tons of stuff. Yeah, but I can't, can't picture. I can't picture him. Larry Miller, um, I'd have to know what he was in. I'm just gonna throw it out there. Fifty-four. Sixty-six. Sarah Ferguson. Sarah Ferguson. The Duchess of York. She's younger than us, so she's got to be all of. Has she turned how about fifty-three? Sixty. She's older than us? She's older than us. Wow, I didn't and, know that. And in hysterical birthdays, Mario Puzo, Lee Iacocca, and Penny Marshall, who died way too young. Uh, good, a good Penny Marshall movie, Now and Then. You guys check it out. Now and Then. There's a bunch of good ones. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The, what was the baseball one? Uh, the League of Their Own. League of Their Own. There's no crying in baseball. Uh, Valerie Dunlap. We, we already talked about Flamingo. She must have got in late. Which... She says, tell about Flamingo. Oh, yeah. We don't know. All we know is the buildings uh, that house the Flamingo are for sale. I don't know what's happening with the business. I was just sharing a post from Nicholas Real Estate. So we don't know yet. We'll we'll try to track that down and let you guys know. <laughs> Matthew said, he said, if you're having a bad day, there's a hotline called Call and Oats that only plays Hall and Oats songs for you when you call this number. He says, I called it. It's legit. They even give you songs, ch song choices. So there's a phone number you can call, and it'll play Hall & Oates songs for you. Call, call & Oates. Call huh? & Oates. How funny. Well. How funny. Should we give the number over the line? You're a rich girl. Yeah, sure. Give it over. 719-266-2837. Guys, check that out. How funny. I'm going to call it later. I can call it right now, actually. Yes, you could. Hey, if you guys are in the Enid area and you got kids in school, uh, this is their last day of school. Tomorrow is parent-teacher meeting, and then Thursday, Friday, our fall, we're at fall break, folks. It's yeah. fall break. So the kids uh, are out of school today, and uh, so don't send little Johnny to school the rest of the week. <laughs> or if he says he's leaving for school, yeah, yeah he's off doing something he shouldn't going be doing. Going to Mary Lou's place. And... I believe the, uh, which is kind of weird, but the Plainsmen are playing this weekend, so right in the middle of fall break, we are having a home game. I believe no. I think Norman might be coming to town. Uh, anyway, uh, there, there is a there is a football game. Oh, the junior varsity beat Santa Fe last night. Cool. So awesome. It's kind of cool if the junior varsity are winning some of their games. Then hopefully we get all those players up into the varsity and and yeah, we'll have a better year next year. Get them get them into the system. 
So yeah. Monica says they have school today and parent teacher conference today. Oh, they have parent teacher conference today as well. Yeah, fall break starts tomorrow. Oh, really? Oh, so they get three days for fall break now? I don't know. My kids are all out. So I could swear we used to only get two, but uh, I don't know. Okay, your kid. Yeah. So anyway, go if you're a parent, go talk to the teachers, find out what your kids are up to. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. Don't make them. Don't make them call you. Just go there and yeah. Uh, you need to stay in touch with your t- uh, teachers. Find out what your little rug rat is really up to. Yes. Behind the scenes. Yes. It's amazing how many parents don't go. It is kind of amazing. It's actually sad. You should go. Be in, be invested in your child's schooling. That's right. Oh, we got to do sports. Do sports. What is it? Tuesday? Not a whole lot going on on Tuesday sports. Moment. Matthew says. Matthew says. I got to scroll down. Monday Night Football. Packers beat the Lions, twenty-three twenty-two. Go Pack! Uh, And Major League Baseball playoffs. The Nationals beat the Cardinals eight to one. They lead the series three to nothing. Really? Yeah. They've had three games already. Where have I been? I don't know. Uh, In Game Three, Astros and Yankees. Or is tonight and the series tied at one. Oh, I think it's going to be Astros and the Nationals. Oh, that guy I don't want that. Remember that one dude's got the that big Astros. Bet. Oh, that was Astros. Yeah, right, yeah. Right. He bet what three point five million on yeah. the Astros. Yeah. And now he did he he bet him on to to win the World Series. Yes. Okay. That's why I understand. That's kind of a silly bet. Well, I mean, it's only two to one odds. So. Yeah, I was gonna say yeah. It's, it, it's kind of a safe bet, but it's. That's a that's not good. Honestly. If I was gonna yeah, if I was gonna put up that much money, I'd want a big, 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 big return. Yeah. Did you, your, many, did you get your lottery ticket the other day? No. Where you're going to? Yeah. Well, no, I I get it on two because Tuesday's the day. Tuesday, Tuesday the twenty second. Oh. Is the day that Charlie Brown's on. Oh, okay, yeah. That's right. So that'll be the day I'll buy my ticket. Oh, I thought it was the moon. No. I thought it was the moon thing. No, it's the two two Tuesday the twenty second. A lot of a lot of twos going on there. Okay. So. So buy two tickets. Oh, and I'll have to buy two tickets. Yeah. Hey, uh, we've got the Lantern Tours, the Cherokee Strip Regional Heritage Center here in Enid, Oklahoma. If you guys are living, watching this somewhere else, listening to this on a podcast, you're in Oklahoma City, Wichita, Tulsa, Woodward, who knows? You guys come to Enid. Our Cherokee Strip Regional Heritage Center is very cool, and they are having a historic Lantern Tour, which is a a nighttime tour of the uh, Humphrey Village. It's kind of a... It's not scary, but it's at night, so you kind of get that Halloween feel, and they people are doing things that they would have done back in the late 1800s, early 1900s. It's kind of a historical churn and butter. look back. Yeah, churn and butter, Milk basically. And cows. Yeah. Uh, tours are 10 bucks a person. You can get your tickets now. It's Friday. Slopping hogs. November 1st, and what they do is they send a group of people in every 15 minutes, and then they have actors reenacting... Uh, things that you would have seen again back in back in the day. Churn and butter. Churn and butter. <laughs> so that's at the Cherokee Strip Regional Heritage Center, which is kind of our museum for everything, like what nineteen ten and back. And so one of these days, I want to open up a museum for everything from about nineteen fifty to like nineteen ninety, the beginning of nineteen ninety. So we'd have fifties, sixties, seventies, and eighties, like. Jacks, records, signs, and just why not twenties and thirties and forties? Well, I don't think there's that much. I don't. People don't remember. Well, that's why you have it. Yeah, but I, I, I I'm gonna do. You do that one. No. <laughs> you do twenties, thirties, and forties. I'll do fifties, sixties, seventies, and eighties. It would have been cool to be lean in the twenties. Oh yeah. It was hopping from a well, cord all everything upstairs. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the, the floozy the floozy places? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, we're about to run out of time. Uh, guys, okay. thanks for checking in with We Are Those Buzz Guys. Don't forget, uh, we are, I think, the only live talk, morning radio show in Enon, Oklahoma. Especially tell your friends. On, especially on Facebook. Yep, tell your friends, check in, and uh, don't forget, if you miss an episode, you can catch us on a podcast, Those Buzz Guys. You'll still get the same information just uh, in your car as you're driving. So, you guys have a great Tuesday. That's why I'm bopping my head. Bye, oh. Bye Facebook. Oh.